secret phone functions, unusual gadget holders, and even a projector to call a superhero to the rescue? Watch our new video to learn awesome life hacks for your smartphone. Rosie's painting a still life of flowers. What's this new technique? She's painting with a sparkly battery instead of a stylus. Glue a chain to a AAA battery. Cover it with glue and sprinkle it with glitter. Secure it with hairspray. Can you use your battery to draw something better than a cactus? Let's see! A few strokes of the battery brush and the portrait is ready. The model likes it! Now Ben wants to try using this new technique too. Ben's phone died. Horrible timing! But Rosie has a silicone oven mitt with a charger. Trace a portable charger on a silicone oven mitt. Cut out an opening. Trace and cut out the same opening on the other side. Insert the charger and plug in the cable. Plug in the charger and put the phone in the mitt. How comfortable! Ben is rehearsing his aria for his karaoke battle. It sounds terrible, but as soon as Rosie gets headphones out, Ben claims them for himself. He has the exact same gadget, apparently. This is unacceptable. Color headphones with nail polish. Leave the buttons unpainted so you don't damage the mechanism. Rosie colored her earbuds. Now no one will be confused about which ones are whose. Even Ben has to agree. Rosie's headphones are unique. Let's just have our own individual karaoke battles, each in our own headphones. What's Ben up to? Is he leading an archaeological dig in the depths of his phone? No, he's just cleaning it. Brushes won't help you here. Rosie takes this very seriously and brings out a vacuum cleaner with a special phone-sized piece. Cut a circle out of cardboard. Make an opening in the center and put in an empty ballpoint pen. Hot glue it on. Put the fitting onto the vacuum cleaner and easily remove all the dust from your phone's holes. Rosie wants to take an epic photo and Ben knows how to make that happen. Put your phone in panorama mode and start shooting. While Ben takes the panorama, Rosie runs around the photographer and stands in her next position. Ben captures a few shots of Rosie in one panorama. Let's see the result. Perfect! Rosie and her clones in one photo. This photo will get 10 times as many likes. Why does Ben need an antacid tablet? To heal his lava lamp. Cover the base of a glass with hot glue to make it stable. Pour a little water into the glass. Add vegetable oil. Dissolve coloring in water. Collect the water into a syringe and pour it into the oil. It ends up looking like bubbles slowly sinking in a lava lamp. Turn on the flashlight on your phone. Put the glass on top and drop an antacid tablet into the water. Watch as the bubbles fizz and rise up in the illuminated lava lamp. Smooth color transitions and drops of oil. This nightlight is super calming. Ben wants to take a photo with a Ferris wheel, but it's too tall to fit in the shot. This is a difficult choice to make. Either Ben fits or the wheel fits. What should we do? To fit tall objects into the frame, Rosie turns on panorama mode. She puts her phone horizontally, then moves the camera down. Now everything will fit into the final picture. Rosie's phone is one slippery gadget. It keeps falling and skidding around on the table. Ben has a smart, easy life hack. One plastic card can be a headphone holder and a phone stand. Poke holes in a plastic card with a hole punch that go just beyond the edges of the card. Make two openings on one side and one opening on the other. Cut a rectangular gap to fit a phone. Apply hot glue on the edge so the stand doesn't slip. Put the phone on the stand. Hide the card in the case. And if you need to store your headphones, put them into the openings and wrap the wire around the card. Ben takes off his headphones and puts the phone on the stand. Fast, useful, and easy. Now Rosie's phone is secure in place. What's sparkling and shining so brightly over here? A new necklace? No, it's Rosie's new case with stylish rings. Glue ring blanks to a phone case. Coat the case with acrylic paint. 
paint the rings too. Glue rhinestones to the rings. This glamorous phone case is just as useful as it is beautiful. Now you'll definitely never drop your phone. Shine bright like a phone case. Taking a good photo of a pet is hard even for an established professional photographer. Furry models are so difficult to work with. Check out this life hack. Take dog food and hold it next to the camera lens. That'll coax the dog to look over in whatever direction you need. Say cheese! Ben is trying to find his phone charger. Only a miracle will be able to untangle this knot. But Rosie immediately finds her lovey-dovey charger. Cover a phone charger cable with decorative tape. Rosie's charger is exclusive. It's a one-of-a-kind design. Great idea! Ben will try it out right away. Rosie's watching a horror flick. Oh goodness, it's so scary. We need to call a superhero to come save us. Luckily, Rosie has a pocket-sized projector for calling Batman. Cover a toilet paper roll with shiny paper. Cut Batman's logo out of cardboard. Glue it across the opening of the roll using clear tape. Attach two strips of double-sided tape on the other end and glue the tube to your phone's light. Turn on the light and project the logo onto the wall. Rosie sends out the bat signal. We need help, quickly! Ben rushes to the rescue. He turns on the light and Rosie's not scared anymore. Ben's playing a racer game on his phone. Chill out! That's a great way to sprain your wrist. Use a special wheel instead. Trace a big bowl on thick cardboard and go over your phone in the center. Finish drawing the wheel. Cut it out. Glue an identical wheel on top, just without the gap for your phone. Cover the center with a yellow foam rubber sheet. Wrap the wheel in strips of a black foam rubber sheet. Glue on a phone case. Attach a car brand logo. Insert your phone into the case. This upgrade will make sure Ben wins his race. This phone wheel will make you feel like a real racetrack superstar. Ben keeps talking on his phone. No wonder it ran out of battery. But Rosie has an ace up her sleeve. An emergency portable charger. Glue a pocket out of fake leather to the inside of a coat. Attach a small elastic band to the armhole. Put a portable charger in the pocket and run the charger cable through the elastic in the sleeve. Plug your phone in on the outside. Ben plugs right into Rosie's sleeve. How handy! But now we'll have to walk around very close together. Rosie's dreaming of popping Ben's pimple. She won't stop until she defeats it. Rosie, stop! For skincare manics like you, we've got a special pimple case. Put slime into a white balloon. Tie the balloon. Trim the tail and glue the balloon onto a phone case. Make a crater out of hot glue. Color the case to be skin tone and paint the hot glue pink. Use a dry brush to transition it into red. Paint the balloon yellow. Pop the pimple using a heated needle. Or use it as a phone stand. This huge pimple on a phone case is a great way to relieve stress. Rosie squeezes out the slime. It's every dermatologist's dream. And Ben's skin is safe. A woman's purse is like a black hole. We've got everything in here except tidiness. Rosie's looking for her charger connector. Good thing she hid it in a keychain. Cut a strip of fake leather into fringe. Glue another strip of fake leather in half to make a cord. Attach it to the top edge of the fringe. Make a loop. Wrap the fringe into a tassel, securing it with hot glue. Cut off a thin strip of Velcro. Hot glue it to the middle of the tassel. Hang the charger connector and secure it with the Velcro. Cover the top of the tassel with Elmer's glue and sprinkle it with glitter. Insert a keychain ring. Put the keychain on your bag. This way, you'll never lose track of your connector. And you won't have to dig around in your purse. Just be sure you don't lose the keychain. Rosie's charging her phone and waiting for it to charge. It feels like a thousand years have passed, but it's only gone up by 10%. I can't handle this. To save time charging, put your phone in airplane mode. That way your phone won't waste energy on running apps and it'll charge much faster. 
This selfie looks normal, but Rosie came up with a hot new filter. Carefully hold a candle just below the front of the camera. Take a selfie. The photo ends up having a warm, wavy effect. Rosie is calculating her budget. All these numbers are hard to keep track of. She needs to use her phone calculator. Here's a simple trick. If you put in the wrong number, you can get rid of the last digit easily. Just move your finger from left to right. Did you like our foam life hacks? Then let us know in the comments about which one you'll use every single day. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new gadget life hacks from Troom Troom.